This is the top 10 most influential guitar players of all time. And as we get towards number one, we may have a few disagreements. And that's okay. Let's get rolling. Coming in at number 10, Eric Clapton. So Eric Clapton coming down strong in the 1960s. It's amazing just the influence he's had on many different guitar players from when he was in the Yardbirds to when he was in Cream and then his successful solo career. We got Derek and the Dominoes, Layla, all these amazing songs. Uh, and influential wise, he is like the top guy that Eddie Van Halen would mention in most interviews of who uh, influenced him most when he was a kid. And so that's why he's coming at number 10. And I know what you're thinking. If Eric Clapton is number 10, what's next? Let's find out. Coming in at number nine, we have Kirk Hammett and James Hetfield. Now, I know that that's two people, but they both had such an amazing influence, both of them, with Metallica. <laughs> So they came out in the 1980s, and they were really influenced by the new wave of British heavy metal, anywhere from uh, Judas Priest to Iron Maiden to a lot of bands that were coming from overseas. And so that affected their songwriting, and that affected how they played. But they really came up with a new language of guitar. And so when they did that, they had a lot of down picking. They had a lot of fast solos. Anybody from Korn to Slipknot to Avenged Sevenfold cite Metallica and those players as their influence so coming in at number nine a great band metallica with james hetfield and kirk hammett coming in at number eight is the edge from u2 the Edge really did create a new musical language with the use of delay and different distortions, different guitars. No one sounded like The Edge before The Edge, and there's a lot that it sound like him after. And so he comes in on our list just because he was on the vanguard of creating something totally new and something totally original. All right, coming in at number seven, we have the one, the only, Jimmy Page. <laughs> I mean, what can you say about Jimmy Page? Just an amazing record producer, amazing guitar player, little sloppy, as a lot of us know. But again, what he did was influence so many different guitar players after him. He could go anywhere from some acoustic jam to all the way to something as majestic as Cashmere. So just hats off to this amazing guitar player, amazing gift to the world, Jimmy Page. <laughs> Coming in at number six, Tony Iommi of Black Sabbath. Now, Black Sabbath has been named over the years as the fathers, forefathers of heavy metal music, and with good reason. With riffs like that, how can they not be? Tony Iommi, with his riffs and his leads, created this whole new style that people picked up on in the early 70s and on. So I can say with a lot of certainty that a lot of players that play to this day in heavy metal have Tony Iommi's DNA in their playing. Coming in at number five, the great Chuck Berry. Chuck Berry, what can you say about Chuck Berry? Well, he was influential because he influenced everybody. We're talking to the Beach Boys. We're talking about the Rolling Stones. We're talking about the Beatles, who would all cover Chuck Berry songs. So just with that simple fact, he wins. And he could easily top this list because if you go in chronological order, he's one of those forefathers of the rock guitar. So just nothing but respect for him. And may he rest in peace. And he was awesome. <laughs> Now, 
I said things could get interesting the closer we get to number one. And number four, coming in, may shock you, Ace Fraley of KISS. So I know what you're thinking. Ace Fraley, in terms of guitar playing, he's not one of the best around. But he was accessible for young fans of that band. And they could play a lot of his solos to get going. And is there anybody on this list that fired rockets and destroyed like the lighting pyro with his guitar? Did any of these guitar players, like, did their guitar smoke or did they levitate up in the air on these lifts? No. So for me, Metal Dad, this guy could have easily topped the list because he was the first one that got me playing and countless of other guitar players we're talking anybody from jerry Cantrell. we're talking all of pearl jam's guitar players all these players just bow down to ace fraley because of his influence and he got so many kids to pick up the guitar <laughs> A lot of people had a favorite Beatle. Uh, mine was George. George Harrison. You cannot overstate the influence this man had uh, as a member of the Beatles. Countless musicians um, started playing any instrument the Beatles played, for that matter. They picked up a guitar. They picked up a bass, a drum set, because they wanted to be the Beatles. And George uh, just came on so strong, especially in the end with that band, with Here Comes the Sun, Something, all these great songs. But his playing and his slide playing in particular is just amazing. So George Harrison, my favorite Beatle, coming in at number three. Amazing. <laughs> Coming in at number two, my man, Eddie Van Halen. He's right here on the headstock, EVH. And this is, for those wondering, this is a PV original Wolfgang. There's been a few people that have emotionally affected me when they have passed. Uh, and one is Eddie Van Halen. Um, what a loss for the rock world. But he, I mean, create, talking about creating a new language. He took a lot of his influences. Um, we've talked about Eric Clapton. He was influenced by Jimmy Page. And he was really into crafting new techniques and styles to get what was in his head through his fingers, through his guitar, and out to the world. Not only was he an amazing technician playing, he, his rhythm had a bounce to it. That's, that's the difference. He was a great rhythm player as well. And that's a, a reason why their music was successful. He, along with his brother Alex, had this life in their playing that, that just said, let's have a good time. And so, yeah, I mean, what can you say? He uh, redefined the rock guitar. And you'll see coming up at number one just how far he went and what he was influenced by. <laughs> The Big Kahuna, number one, Jimi Hendrix. Seems like everybody can lay claim to being influenced by Jimi in some way. Because he took Chuck Berry, he took just kind of jangly rock and roll playing, and he turned it on its ear, literally. I mean, he added a fuzz, a fuzz box, wah-wah pedals, all these kind of different things. And, and even in the, in the recording studio, his engineer of many years, Eddie Kramer, they came up with techniques along with the Beatles that are now still being felt and still being heard. I, I loved his voice. Just Jimi Hendrix had I just the coolest voice. Jimi truly came up with a new language on the guitar that it was unparalleled. This spirit of innovating and not going to the whatever had come before to come up with something that was fresh, exciting, and just amazing in the world of guitar. Now, I know that uh, some of you all have uh, your own list, and some of you may very much disagree with the list I've had, but that's okay. 
it's okay. It's a it's a free world. So uh, leave me um, you know, your comments. I want to see your lists. I want to see. I don't mind the pushback on my list. So I hope to see you soon. And again, it's just a privilege uh, to be on this channel to speak to you, to play for you, and uh, look forward to many years of that to come. We'll see you later.